If you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcast, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. Download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. That's A-N-C-H-O-R for the app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I love using Anchor and it's how I got started on my podcast and I highly recommend. So please give Anchor a download and a try if podcast is on your needs. Welcome to Dirty Secrets of Massage. I am your host, Ava, and I'll be telling you the dirty truth about the massage therapy industry, different clients I encounter, and all things massage. Please send any questions or topic requests to dirtysecretsofmassage at yahoo.com. Well, hello again. I just couldn't contain myself, and I have an update on a previous episode I did not too long ago about new potential creepers and pervs. And all I can really say right off the bat is, well, I pretty much knew that was true. And so remember the phone call I got late in the evening, well past everybody's bedtime. And I stopped by that individual's house and I probably should have called first. And the reason I I know this person is because he helps me out when I need certain things fixed. Certain things that a man would fix, you know, if I had a regular boyfriend or a regular husband or something around. You know, outdoor tools kind of thing without getting too specific and so one of my outdoor tools was kind of acting up and so I swung over there and sent a text and I didn't think it would be a big deal because most of the time he's hanging out in the garage anyways and he's on a busy he's on a very busy street and so it's easy to kind of you know see if he's there or not or swing through or see what he's up to But I guess because of how hot it is, he doesn't have the garage open like he normally would. And as I said before, the guy that used to help him, he kind of dropped dead on the garage floor several months ago. And so he just been kind of doing little repairs here and there on his own. And so I won't get into too specific of the typical repairs or say specifically what I'm talking about because he does a lot of repairs for other people, not just me. And so I sent him a text from the car and said, hey, I thought I'd swing through. I I have my XYZ that I need, I'm having a little problem with. And he didn't answer and so I thought, oh no, maybe, you know, he has a girlfriend over or something. How presumptuous of me to think he might be a perv calling me late at night well until I got a call today asking me what I'm up to did I want to swing through and so I put on my sneakers and took my piece of equipment over there and I pulled up and I didn't see I I didn't think I saw him outside and like I said before normally he has a garage door open so I'm sort of confused, but not really, you know, I'm not sure. It's very hot out, so I I have no idea. And so I pull up and there's another car in the driveway. And I thought, well, maybe he's got company or maybe that's his new helper. Except for there was people in the car. And so I thought, well, maybe I should move because clearly they're gonna leave soon. So I back up kind of make a little backwards U-turn and I go down, there's like a side, like a little side area. And because of like where he lives and like 
part of the street and everything and there's like a little side strip you know like people park like in the side grass and stuff so I went down one more house where clearly other people pull up and park and I just kind of pulled up next to the ditch and parked along the side of the house because I didn't want to park on the side of the road and get my vehicle hit like I said this is a busy little spot and so I get out of my car and I walk down, you know, the side of the house where I saw that other car. And there's another individual that looks very sketchy. And I thought, that's not him, is it? Maybe, maybe it is him. Maybe he lost a lot of weight. Maybe he had more tattoos than I remember. It's been some time, I'm not so sure. Well, long story short, that guy is some sort of an ex-con. It looked like they were doing a meth deal or, or something to me. I couldn't tell. But the person I was looking for wasn't outside. So who are these people? So now I see what kind of people he's hanging out with or allows to hang out in his driveway, and I'm getting a little concerned. And so the individual I was looking for was inside, you know, I get in, he invites me in. And like I said before, there's reasons why I say he's not my type and now I have more, but I would have just never thought these are the kind of people, you know, that he's gonna hang out with. <clears throat> and so anyways, to get to the bottom of the story, these guys start talking about other swing clubs, chatterbait, strip chat, whatever they're called, live webcam, you know. And I guess the ex-con is doing, is doing webcamming and he's picking up women at the strip, at the swing club. And it's not the swing club that I go to, but it's a different one, but he goes in there and gets women to buy him dinners and drinks and you know he's selling himself of course because he did a lot of time in the pen and he doesn't have another way to make money I'm sure and these girls are paying a lot of money and he'll get a text message asking for certain videos of certain things all I can say is if anybody has a problem with this podcast or my OnlyFans, that is very mild compared to what this gentleman is up to. 21 years in the pen for, you know, probably taking somebody's life kind of thing. At least he said that's what it was. And so, like I said, I wasn't sure about the, the individual that helps me out because of where he used to work within the government system of where we live. And all I can say is my gut is right on some parts and I didn't I didn't know how bad it could really be on other parts. And I'll tell you another thing. If you frequent the website bed page, you might want to stay off of there because it's laced with police stings of prostitution and I'll get more into that later bed page is the, the new back page they shut down back page and they arrested the CEO and he went to prison for trafficking <clears throat> and so this is coming from a very reliable source if you know what I mean and so there you have it there you have it this guy hasn't been listening to my podcast. He just probably thinks I'm pretty and wants somebody to hang out with. Well, now I know what he's hanging out with and that won't be happening. Like I said, he's not my type for a very specific, several specific reasons, but one main one that I can't be around for too terribly long. And if you think really hard, you can figure it out. And so right here in our own community, not even close to where I live, but not too far either. The pervs are, are lurking and they're hanging out with other people that probably shouldn't be around your kids and things like that. And so like I said, you never know who you're, who 
you're eating lunch with or who you're sitting next to. You just never know. You never know. <laughs>